Renewables represent change. And change is uncertainty. The biggest thing that people in an energy state like Wyoming fear is that change. This community is all rooted in coal, all the way down to the fast food. Everybody relies on the miners. There's a huge opportunity with renewable resources that Wyoming is lucky to have, but it doesn't come for free. We've ended the war on clean, beautiful coal, and we're putting our miners back to work. At the mine I was working at, everybody knew it was coming. Come on, Cheetah. Key! Key! And it's in her chest. Maybe Kinley can play it. Maybe. I've been working the coal job for about six years. Back in April of last year, they called me up on my seven off Wednesday and said, hey, we have a crew meeting tomorrow. Here you go, little lady. Oh, the whole crew's gonna be there. They're like, yeah, everybody's gonna be there. I showed up and it was just a couple of us that were getting let go. I mean, I thought I was secure in that job and I was supporting my family. It was quite an eye opener. Our insurance ended that day. The kids and my wife, they got on Medicaid and my doctor went away. Come on. Gavin. I don't want to go. You can play it in the car. No. Kinley, come on. Right now I'm working half my pay. Doing Night shifts, seven on, seven off, 12 hour shifts. Um, just trying to provide. People in Wyoming have been very proud that they literally keep the lights on in large parts of the country. Coal mines in Wyoming total have about 6,000 miners. We've had about a thousand layoffs in the last year. There are some people that really hope that the Trump administration could bring back coal jobs, but I think people are beginning to realize that they may not come back. And so the question is, what's next? <laughs> I got another hat. Oh, ready? Let's go. Does anybody know what the fastest growing job in the country is? By 2024, the number of wind technicians in the country is expected to more than double. Also in 2016, That's why. $297 million was raised. Maybe get a job putting the windmills up. From Wyoming has what are considered some of the best wind energy resources in the country. The challenge is not necessarily from wind so much as the challenge comes from how do you replace a large fossil fuel sector that begins That's to decline. That's what's going on here, and as this explosion of renewable energy occurs, eventually, coal-fired power plants will begin to be retired. As they are retired, there will be less demand for coal. This is not a statement against coal, it's just this is the reality that we face. The I'm trying to get on as a wind technician. Hopefully it would create more jobs. This town may even grow more because of it. The benefits of clean energy, of course, are to the consumers that use it. Wind energy is sent to some far off location like California, but the people who produce it have to deal with the impact of that production. Renewable energy is just does not create the kind of employment that fossil fuel energy does. If we really push for more cleaner energy and climate change policies, then Wyoming is going to have to bear a cost 
that they would prefer not to. I see an airplane. Is it a big plane or a little plane? A big. A big one? Coal has been rooted in this area for decades. Not a lot of people are up to change. But there's more than just coal energy out there. <laughs>